One, two, oh boy, three. Now, before we enter the volcano and provoke an eruption of swarming ants, I want you to understand what makes these little invaders so impactful. Size doesn't always matter, and what these ants lack in scale, they make up for with sheer volume. Even the slightest disruption will provoke fire ants to attack a perceived intruder with a full barrage of soldiers. And if the mound is big enough, we are literally talking about thousands of ants. With their mandibles, they bite and lock on. From there, the sting party begins as they twist their abdomen into striking position and inflict sting after sting after sting. Fire ants inject a neurotoxic venom that immediately makes their victim feel as if they have stepped into a pool of boiling lava. Sounds like fun. Now let's see what that looks like in real life. The mental preparation that it takes to induce a sting, let alone an onslaught of stings, is not an easy thing to describe. This isn't like taking a single bullet ant sting or an execution wasp, which are both incredibly painful. This is getting stung over and over again by fire ants, one of the most formidable little biological landmines that exists, in my opinion, on the entire planet. So if you guys are ready, it's time to step into a mound of fire ants. Here we go. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be scorched by fire ants. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Oh boy, oh, I'm just gonna let myself get covered. Oh, and the volcano is erupting. Oh, ah, ah. oh man, they are really swarming at this point. Look at that, they're completely covering my ankles. Uh, ah. I do not miss the feeling of fire ants. Ah. Okay, I, I, I gotta step out. I gotta step out of the mound, out of the mound. Ah, mm. ah man, they got that one foot a lot worse than this foot. Uh, ah, ah, ah. Oh my gosh, that is so intense. Oh. Mm. Ah. They might be small, but fire ants are incredibly mighty and they attack in mass. So right now what they're doing is biting out with the mandibles and inflicting that sting and that neurotoxic venom is just destroying my feet and my ankles right now. Oh, this is the absolute worst case scenario you would not want to find yourself in. Imagine being in flip-flops, you brush through an entire mound of ants and your feet are completely covered. I can already see the stings beginning to welt up. All right, guys, I gotta dust them off. I gotta dust off. We good? We good? Okay, I'm gonna use this feather duster to gently get the ants off of me. Yes, I don't wanna try to crush any ants in this process, so I'm just gonna lightly oh, dust them off. Come on, guys, get off of me. Off, 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 off. Off we go. Oh my goodness. Sweet feather duster relief. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's a bunch of them in between my toes. You wanna to talk about sensitive skin areas? In between the toes has gotta to be the worst. Ah, ah. Okay, ants are off. I'm out of the scene. 